Hello. Thanks for taking a little bit of your time today to be with me in God's Word, where I'd like to speak with you this morning about Matthew chapter 11, verse 6. In this verse, Jesus says this, And blessed is the one who is not offended by me. That's a curious statement, and it makes us wonder why Jesus would say such a thing. But what it implies to us certainly, and people do experience this, that there are times when people are offended by Jesus. Lots of people around the world may recognize that Jesus is great. Even if they don't believe in him as the Son of God, they might see in him a great teacher, a miracle worker even. Lots of people like the things that Jesus has done. But there are occasions when Jesus does do things or allows things to happen that we simply do not understand. If we were in his shoes, we might say, we would have done differently. Why, Jesus, did you do this? And Jesus does not necessarily give us any answer that is, at the time, satisfying to us. Why, Jesus, did you allow that person to suffer in the way that she did? Why, Jesus, did you let that person die in the way that he did? And he gives no quick answer to these things. We simply do not know. As one person has said, his ways are inscrutable. There are things about Jesus Christ that, at least in this lifetime, we will not understand. And as a result, some are offended by him. But Jesus says, blessed is the one who is not offended by him. That's where our faith comes in. Our faith says, even though I do not understand you, Jesus, even though I do not like the way that this has taken place, I am still going to trust you. I don't get it, but I believe in you. I believe that you are good. I believe that you died on the cross to take away the sins of the world, including my own. And though I cannot comprehend at this time why such and such has taken place, still, Jesus, I'm going to believe in you. And it's true, isn't it? Every Christian, every person has opportunity to deal with this very situation. There are times that are going to arise in our lives and in the lives of those near to us where this statement will be very appropriate. And yet we give thanks today that God has given us a faith, a faith that does not stand on sight. We, we walk by faith, the scripture says, and not by sight. We thank God today that God has given us a faith that is able to withstand even those big questions in life, even the sorrows, even the pain, the things that we cannot understand. God has given us a faith in his son, Jesus Christ, by which we can walk through those things as God leads us. And so today we thank you. We thank the Lord for that faith that he has given us in his dear son, Jesus Christ, a faith that we receive here in this life, a faith by which God will bring us into the next life. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, although we do not always understand your ways, we trust in you and pray that as our faith is tested and as we go through things that are difficult and things that we do not understand, that you would walk with us all along the way until you bring us to yourself. Thank you, Jesus, that you have made everything necessary. You have done everything that is needed so that we can be with you in this life and in the life to come. These things we pray in your name. Amen. Blessings to you.